quick video on how to diagnose sticking brakes. So on my car, when I'm on a slight hill, I'm a manual transmission, I feel like I have a little bit of brake drag and uh, I had someone else come in my car and kind of confirm the same feel. So I'm just gonna do a quick check and see which one it is. So the only tool you need is an infrared therm thermometer or a laser thermometer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare all four rotor temperatures. So this one's at about 87.5. That's the front left. The back left is about same, 87.5, 88. The back right, oh okay, that one's at 108. And I can see some hot spots on there. And then my front right is at 88, 89.5, 88.5. So, this one, that one, and the back one are matching up. However, this back right one is hot, which tells me, and you can see the hot spots, which tell me, it tells me that this brake is dragging. Now, the reason for the drag could be sticking caliper, sticking float uh, pins, uh, sticking brake pad on the caliper bracket itself. Could be multiple things so before i just throw a caliper on this i'm going to go ahead take it apart compress the caliper in and check that everything's moving smoothly and go from there all right we are now back and i have my brakes taken apart i have some good news for myself the piston in the caliper compressed in beautifully it went back right in the caliper done hundreds of brake jobs and it was just like any other brake caliper out there so that tells me that hey my caliper is just fine same thing with my float pins or my caliper pins my slide pins they're moving back forward and up and down easily that one's kind of down it would be hard oh, I to push it back up those are free as well so that's telling me my caliper is great it was probably just a pads issue and if you go and look at the bracket now you can see there's rust right there rust on top as well same thing on the other side it's very dirty same thing on these pads, got a lot of rust spots. So that's telling me that my pads were probably just stuck against the caliper bracket and weren't retracting back when I let go of my brakes, thus causing the, the excessive heat and the sticking of the brakes. So what I'm gonna do right now, since I have no new parts, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all this rust with a wire brush get some nice fresh lube on there, lubricate my pins, put some lube on my piston, and just, just to put it back together and see if it stops, I'll drive it around and hopefully the heat will stop. And then next week when I get a chance, I'm just gonna do all pads and rotors since they need to be done anyways. And it'll match my front, my front rotors, which are now slotted and drilled with some Brimble brake pads. So again, quick diagnosis, all I use was this thermometer. And even now, you could probably tell the difference. That's at 90, because that, that rotor is pretty hot. Yeah, it's at 123. After driving, I checked. This rotor was at like 200 something, while those rotors were like, were like at 110, 120. So this thing was getting very hot. All right, my friend just took my car for a quick spin. And we're going to compare results now. It was definitely quick. The back left, which was the one without any problems, is about 175. The back right oops, is about the same. Very similar. It's a very good sign. That means I fixed the problem and it really didn't cost me anything. So the one thing I noticed when pulling the car out of the garage on this hill, which is not nearly as big as other hills I was on, I would let go of the brake and the car would just roll back freely, just roll right back. So I'm really happy, really excited to fix my problem. Hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or want me to make any other videos, just please comment below and I will gladly do that for you. Thanks for watching.